Hello everyone, welcome to Nitya Cloud Tech. In this video, we are going to discuss about partition. So how we can make use of partition in uh, pandas. So this is the agenda. So basically partition function define how the rows of a table or I can say data frame are mapped to a set of partitions based on the value of a certain column called a partitioning column and each value in the partition column is an input to the partitioning function which returns a partition value okay so let me show you one of the example so that it would be more clear for you so as it is mentioned are mapped to a set of partitions based on the value of a certain columns okay so let me open this file so let's say we have this employee table where we have these four columns employee name job department number and salary now let's say i want to see the highest salary of each department so i want to do partitioning on the department number and based on the salary so edge here it is mentioned it will be based on the certain column. So here it will be based on the department column. And after doing partition, this would be the output. So if you see in 10 department, we have two values, two salary, 8,000 and 5,000. In 20, there's one. In 30, there's two. And 50, also one. So if you see here, after doing partitioning, we will get this result like 8000 is the highest salary so uh, it get rank 1 and 5000 is the second highest so it get rank 2 and it is partitioning on based on the department number then 20 department same and it uh, get one value okay similarly uh, 30 started and then 1 and 2 so it is partitioning based on the department and uh, it is showing the uh, like it is uh, providing the rank based on the highest salary. Okay, now let me show you how we can practically do it. So for uh, like if uh, you people are familiar with SQL, so in SQL we can simply write for this row number over partition by dpt anno and order by cell des okay and we can give alias as rn for this column from table employer this is the close this basically using this we provide ranking and like based on the department number so in SQL, we do partitioning like this. Now let me show you how we can uh, make the same in the Python. Okay. So let me go into the Jupyter notebook. So first, I have this file, employee.csv. Let me import this file, import the data of this file. So first, I will import the library, pandas. as pd okay and then pd dot read csv and this is the path and uh, my file name is employee dot csv okay now let me run this so see i have this table and i have different department now i need to do parties name okay so now for that, what I will do first, I will create separate column, uh, ranking column, where I will give the, um, you know, the numbering based on the department and salary, like this. One. Okay. So let me write the code for this. So for this, I'm creating another column. So df dot dfrn, I'm giving rn in for the column name 
and uh, I can assign this to the df variable. Okay, so df equal to, and now I'm adding one more column. So first I will do sorting, sort values. So I need to do sorting based on the cell. Okay. Okay, after sorting, I will do group by. Okay, and so basically, in uh, Python, we don't have any partition keyword like SQL. What we do first, we do sorting, and after that, we do group by. So, I have to do partitioning on department number column. So, in my group by close. I will type this department number. Okay. And after that, I will write one of the function cumulative count. Okay. So what cumulative count? Cumulative count will give the count of each department number. And after that, I need to add plus one. So let's say it will start from zero. So zero plus one, one. So let's say a for 10 department it get one report initially then it uh, will pass the one rank and then for 10 it will get another report then one plus one two so like this it will uh you know provide the uh, value for each department number and again if 20 comes up then it will again pass the one and then what uh whatever reports in the 20 department it will add one two three four like this okay so this is the command basically. First, we will do sorting. After that, we will use group by for partitioning. And after that, we will use this cum count. So I can say this is the, like whatever we are writing here in the SQL. So this will give the same result here in pandas. Okay, now, let me show you this df so see it has given it has added this column but now you are seeing the values are uh, different values so let me you know like sort this value again to show you the uh, exact result so for that i will again do df dot sort values and uh, after that, I need to sort on based on department number and ranking. Okay, so I will type DEPT ANO and then this RA. So that first it will sort on department number like 10 come and after that it will sort on ranking. Let's say if I salary then like one and after that two like this. Okay, now let me run this. So see, now if you see for 10 department, I have got this 1, 2, 3, okay. And if you see Sally, 1300 and then 2450 and 5000, okay. And for 20 department, 800, 1100 and 2975 and 3000. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And after that, we have that 30 department, and we have also five reports, six reports for 30. So it has given one, two, three, four, five, six. After that, we have 50 department for 50, we have one. Okay. So that is how we do partitioning in uh, pandas in Python. Okay. So I hope this video is helpful for you guys uh if it is helpful then please like and subscribe this channel thank you everyone